Hello everyone, welcome to my fifth science experiment onto this channel, and today we're gonna be doing some nice things. So I have made um something. So every like or view equals one collision. And for the last video, as far as I've seen, we've got 16 views. That is good to know. Let's just go out here. Also got myself a new mouse because last mouse was not good. So how much? 16. So pause time one. You can time lapse to when I actually um so right now I'm at five. Okay, so the 16 planets are here. Let's speed things up. Oh, I see two planets already colliding. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Let's slow things down. One's an icy planet off the bat. Oh, three. Two are returning into lava planets. Oh, gosh. Um, now there's five icy planets. What is going on? Let's speed things up. Wow. Oh my, this is beautiful. An extra view. I'm hitting this. Oh, good. One's just wandering off, so... We're still at 15. This is the last one. What will it do? So this is what our planet looks like after 16 collisions. That's cool. And thank you for getting one of my videos all the way up to 150 views. That really means a lot. Let's just save this real quick. Exit. If you want to get this game, it's called my pocket galaxy you can get it on my play on you can get you can get it on the app store or the play store today the play store is the sponsor of this video okay so actually i've made the universe already solar system oh gosh this is a messy universe here um, how is, um, today we're going to be making a solar system, but we're going to be adding on new planets. So we want to delete this. Okay, let's go back. Solar system. We're only going to be baking the solar system in this video because solar system's big, as you know. I want to go down here. Let's go find. I'm going to get a full mass on. Because why not? I'm not going to change the orbiting planets because that could, um, because those aren't, because orbiting plan, uh, I would like to name this the sun. Why is the name so big? Okay, we know you're the sun, but you don't. Your name doesn't have to be so big. So we would like to see the habitable zone. The sun, we want it locked position so nothing crazy happens. 
habitable zone. Good. Let's zoom out a bit. So I've so as you seen in the menu, if you didn't notice or anything, we unlocked Mars. This is actually really good. We could actually unlock the entire solar system the way that we're doing this. So Mercury is going to be right here orbiting. How are you already an... Dude. Okay, I'm not going to question. Venus. You know Venus for being the hottest planet in the solar system. Named after the Roman gods. Uh, every time I place a planet, I'm also going to tell you a fact about it. Mercury is um, the second hottest planet. That might surprise some of you. Earth is the only planet that has a that is in the habitable zone and actually supports life. Did you know that we are heading to Mars with a spaceship, according to NASA? Okay, because we don't have Jupiter now, we're going to move on to gas giants. Come on. We want there to be 100 layers. Can we get 100 layers? Oh, gosh. <laughs> that looks sick. Wait, this color looked good. Wow, that is cool. Jupiter has a giant red spot that is also categorized as a storm. Jupiter. So now, Saturn. Um, let's make it some cool rings. Okay, Jupiter is not working right now. The position is unlocked. We're just going to delete it because we can. We need, we need Mars to come here. Wait. Since when did Mars go in the habitable zone? Have I messed something up that I don't know about? Um, well, Earth is off its orbit. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That's pretty much killed. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of was expecting that. Come on, mouse. So it seems like, okay, we're going to start this again. Oh my gosh. Not going to lie, I kind of was expecting to start again. So let's go and go ahead and put these planets. So Mercury... I really hate when I have to do them again and again. Mercury. Venus. I'm not going to put it right at the habitable zone so it doesn't mess up Earth's orbit. I'm watching you, Venus. Gotta make sure they have stable orbits. Perfect. Perfect? Yep. Yep. 
Okay. Okay. So Earth, you're gonna go right here. Don't fail me now. Operation Make Earth Go In The Habitable Zone. Don't fail me now. Okay, perfect. That is per perfect. We have to see. Is it going out in the blue? Good. Wait. Is it going the red? No. This is perfect. Let's go. Now we're actually going to spread the planets apart so it doesn't cause any gravitational problems. Oh, shoot. I think um, Earth did something, but I can't verify it. Okay, let's go up here. Let's go grab our giant gas giant. <laughs> I'm not going to put a lot of mass because I think that caused the problem. I'm actually going to put this a little far away from the sun now. We're going to name this planet good old Jupiter. Okay, Mars is in good orbit. Jupiter is good. Now we're putting Saturn. Saturn. We want some rings. Look at the view of the sun. Wait. Let's look at the view fr from the sun on Saturn. That actually looks... That looks so cool. No, oh, this is amazing. Okay, dokie. Let's stop messing around now. Well, we were not messing around there. We were just... I don't know what we were doing, to be honest. Saturn's all the way out here. Ice planet. Uranus is a decently sized ice planet. It also has some rings. Let me customize the colors. Blue rings will look so good. Trust me. Um. Not working. Let's make this go up. Sorry if you hear my mouse scrolling. It's just that my mouse scrolls pretty slow. This has to be curving, can't be a perfect line. It's curving, okay. Okay, that's the perfect curve. Oh my gosh, look at the view. That looks even more insane. I don't think I can tell the difference. Wait, what if I... If I can't tell the difference, wait a minute. I forgot to tell you some facts about Saturn and Uranus. Saturn Saturn has um what does Saturn have again? Okay. Saturn has 82 moons, meaning it has the most in the solar system. You might have seen that on my channel intro. I'm just trying to remember things from it. Now, the final planet is not actually the final planet because we have to do the dwarfs. 
Neptune. Oh, imagine how Pluto will look like. Is it curving? Yes, look at the view. The view looks insane. Imagine the view from... Wait a minute. What comes first, Eris? Wait. I think Eris is the furthest. Wait a minute. After Pluto, what is it? It's either Haumea or Eris. It's either Pluto, Haumea, Maki, Maki, and then Eris, or it's Pluto, Eris, Haumea, Maki, Maki. Wait. What is it? Wait a minute. I think I forgot. I'm gonna do it in my order. <laughs> I think it's actually, you can call me whatever you want if I get this wrong, but I'm going, so, so we want a rocky planet. Pluto doesn't even have the mass to be a planet, so I'll put it at minimum always. Is it even moving? Oh gosh, probably because of how far it is. Okay, I can see Neptune. Um. Wait. I think I just saw something. Mercury, Venus, Earth. Um. We kind of broke physics, not gonna lie, we built a solar system and broke physics at the same time. I think we can call it as a video. I hope everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you like and subscribe. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Bye!